Oh, this, this is some kind of hoax. No, it can't be you. Do you think you can deny it enough times that I'm simply going to vanish into thin air? It won't work, Alistair. I'm here. I'm here to make you pay. I know it's not going to work. It's not going to work for me because I, I know it was obviously you who put that ad in the newspaper just to spook me along with the rose petals. Right? Don't forget the knives. Oh, and the knives. And the knives. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'll tell you. Your fakery would probably work with a lot of people, but it's not going to work with me. You know why? Because I know you're an imposter. Because I know you're dead. Look into my eyes, Alistair. Look into them very deeply and then tell me again that I'm an imposter. <laughs> now do you think it's a hoax? Oh, yes, Alistair. It's me, Alistair. Rachel. I've come back from the dead. No! No, 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 no! no. Murder's moving closer. Murder's about to strike. I don't like this at all. Well, there you go. He's done it again. He's trapped us. I want to get my family home, damn it! The coward's in hiding because he knows I'm going to kill him on sight. I don't know what to think anymore. How can my grandfather think this is a game? He's not playing a game, Fancy. He's playing for real. And lives are at stake. Because I killed Rachel. My father not only ruined my life, but he destroyed the lives of everyone that I love. I won't let him hurt you or James. I will see him dead before he can hurt anyone else. Brace yourselves, people. I believe murder has arrived. God, how many clocks are in this house? 20 or 30. He's got them all set to chime at midnight. Midnight New Year's Eve. The notice in the paper about murder happening here tonight? It must have been now.